Welcome back, lovelies. Okay, really quick before we get into this. Couple of things. First, my voice may sound a little scratchy and hoarse. I had my surgery this morning. Everything went fine. I'm very sore. Can't believe I'm recording, but I wanna, I wanna talk to you guys. So I decided to. So my voice may sound a little hoarse. That is why. Second thing, if you've ever been in the hospital admitted for anything, you know how they put the patches on you and when they take them off, they leave that like square of dirt and I've used alcohol. Honestly, I've used nail polish remover. I've used lots of things. They're so hard to get off. So I tried something. I used my Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I'm sure any cleansing balm would work. Scrubbed it with that. Then I took one of these and my Waterfall Gentle Tonic from 4th Ray Beauty. Went over it with that. And they're freaking gone. That's why it's red. But they're gone. So if you ever have that, use some kind of cleansing balm and then go over it with the toner. And I also used a makeup wipe before the toner to get all the cleansing balm off. And it worked amazing. So that was that. So my voice and that. That's what I want to tell you. Second or third thing. Look at these nails. For those of you who do not follow me, this pinky has been broke. That's why it freaking goes under like that. Look at this. These are press-ons I got from a Shein. So I just glued on some of my gold moons with different colored crystals. That has a purple, a green, and an orange. And I just glued on a rhinestone. On the thumb, I used a moon with two little crystals, a circle, and then a triangle big gem. Same thing with this one, but only the gem and the circles are a little bit in different spots. And then this one, I just switched up the gems. Purple, green, green and purple, and then both orange on the thumb, and then kind of different size things. But are they not cute? Like, I'm feeling myself like, okay, adorable. They are long, but I'm feeling it and loving it. So now let's get into what today's video is. Now, as always, I'm going to try and do this with the air off. Look at these cute earrings, too, by the way, from Shein. Giant, black, shiny moons. And I do have a giant box full of sweaters and different pants and shirts and accessories, like um, bags and things, from Shein to do a fall, fall haul for you guys. I just got to get feeling better. There's no way I could have did that. I'm only able to do this because I'm sitting in a chair and also... Look at this super adorable, and it's a big blanket, okay? And it is so soft and thick, and it has like kitty cat witch, vampire kitty, a mummy kitty, a spider. I'm not sure what kind of kitty that is. We got a skull, like adorable. That's an early Christmas present from my Grammy, which gave it to me anyways. So today's video, now that we're getting into it, three and a half minutes in, empties. I have lots of empty. How cute is this container though? Anyways, so we have lots of empties. We got some bigger bottles and some other things to go over as well. And then after the empties, something I've never done is I shop my stash. So we're gonna shop my stash to get my new skincare routine that I need because I've ran out of everything, which will also be in here. So if you would like to see all that and you have stayed through this rant, you're an OG and I appreciate you for that. But sorry if I'm a little goofy, I'm on medication. Don't mind me. Anyways. Please consider subscribing down below if you're not already. We surpassed 650 and we're already going up the hill to 660. Like, I just, no matter what, I remember the day I was at 10, 1, 0 subscribers and it blew my mind. And I never thought I would get to 650 or 1,000, which we may get to. Like, <laughs> that is just... I, I I will never get used to it. But anyways, let's shut all that up. Where was I? Oh, I, I remember. Ring that bell up there so you know when the next one comes. Plus, so you know when my giveaways come. Because I do do, do do, 
And I do do giveaways. And I have one going on right now for the entire Plush Like Me collection. And I have a huge Christmas giveaway coming with two winners. At the moment, two. You never know, it may go up to three. We'll see. So that you know when those are here. And hit that like button if you enjoyed my content. And please, I love talking to you guys. I answer all comments. So leave me one down below. Let me know if you're new here so I can welcome you. Or just say hi. Tell me what your favorite part is. Let me know if you've used any of these things I'm going to show you. Now with all of that, let's let me shut the hell up and let's get into this video. Let's do it. So let's start with the big things. I'm going to tell you what it was and what I thought of it. This is the Otisite California Blue Aura Turmeric and Holy Basil Cleansing Water. I remember getting this out of a boxy charm. It is glass. I don't remember the exact price, but I'm getting a feeling that this was a little on the expensive side. And to be honest, it was no better than any other cleansing water I used. So I honestly would not suggest buying this unless you have money to just throw away when you could easily buy something better like pharmacy or something cheaper like ColourPop that works just as well. Just my opinion, I didn't see any huge difference that I don't see in any other cleansing water. So there was that. I will not be repurchasing this. Now we have the Pharmacy Deep Sweep 2% BHA Pure Cleaning Toner with Moringa and Papaya. Well, I've already repurchased this. It's over there. So obviously I did love this. And I do see a difference when I use this toner. Because of the BHA, my skin, it like feels dry at first. But then once I put everything on top of it, like my serums and my milks and my um, moisturizers and things, my skin feels so soft and amazing this is a little pricey i think it's like 28 30 dollars it is in glass i first got this in boxy and i loved it and i started repurchasing it and i'm already just now have repurchased my third bottle so i do recommend this if you do have the money for it but they also take after pay okay next something from fourth ray this is the chill sesh hydrating eye mask when i was putting things away in that video I have a brand new one here that I just ordered. This will make my fourth one that I have ordered so far. I absolutely love these. I'm going to show you something real quick. Hold on. I'm going to show you what one of these. I think these are 15, between 15 and $20 for 60 pair, which is a month's worth. Compared to these from... Um, Amazon, the eye mask, hyaluronic acid, hydrating, tightening, skin around eyes, improve eye dryness from Ciezu, I, I don't want to butcher it. That's the name. Now, I'm not going to lie. I use these a lot. See, they're both in blue. So, I'm going to get one of these and one of those. And I'm going to show you the difference in the thickness. Okay. Here's one of theirs. Look how see-through they are, and also look how thin, okay? Very thin. Now let me get one of the fourth ray. And by the way, these are like $10. So for anywhere from five, eight, or 10 more dollars, you get the fourth ray beauty with the same amount of eye patches. And the reason I'm opening them is because I'm gonna be using them anyways. Like, look at them as soon as you open them. So much liquid. Look at the difference right there. These are not see-through. Maybe the tiniest bit transparent. Okay. Now, here's how thick these are. I know it's hard to see. And look how thick those are. Let me see if I can get them both at the same time. I hope you guys can see, these are so thin compared to these, like it's insane. Like, look at this. 
Like I can barely hold on to this. It's so slippery, this one, because they put so much juice. Now don't get me wrong. The $10 ones from Amazon, they put a good amount of juice as well. Let me rub all that goodness in, by the way. They put a good amount of juice too. But if you was ever to have both of these in your hands at once, there is no comparison. Yes, granted, they're almost double the price. But like, it is so worth it, you guys. Like, for those of you who already trust me and know I won't steer you wrong, please give these a try. You will fall in love. I promise you. I sure as hell did. Not gonna say I fell in love with the price, but I mean, if you look at it, let's say they're $18 for 30 days worth. That is less than a dollar a pair, a dollar a day. That is almost, almost 50 cents a day if there was six more pairs. So it's around like, I think around 48 cents a day. That is not bad at all. So there's those. There are these, and these are in the empties, and yes, they will be repurchased. They already have. I repurchase them every month. I repurchase them at the beginning of the month when I still have them. That way, by the end of the month, I'm ready to use them. And then at the beginning of the next month, I purchase again so that I'm never without. Because there was one time I went without a couple days. I was the biggest baby. I was so upset, and they're just under eye patches, but I was upset. So there was those. I, let me tell you something. I hate liking expensive skincare. I really do. But I love this. This is the Tula, let's get our assistant. This is the Tula Skincare Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. You get 0.35 ounces. I don't know the exact amount this costs, but it's around $28 for this, this eye balm. But let me tell you, it does not take much, and I dug that baby out. I could probably still get a little bit more out of there, but I gave up. I dug it till there was no tomorrow. And you get a lot, and it honestly does not take that much. This lasts me like two months. So I don't mind paying it, because $28 for two months, so $14 a month, still not a great price, but not bad at all. So this if you're looking for a good eye balm tula I'm telling you you will not regret it once you use it it feels so soothing on your eyes and it's so soft it melts so quick that you can rub it on your eyes and it will literally melt as you're rubbing it so there will be no tugging at all so we had that yes i will repurchase this you guys just hear me out this is the revolution snow mushroom serum hydrating and skin conditioning serum it's vegan cruelty free and fragrance free and you get 1.01 fluid ounces i don't know what it costs regularly but i got this on sale i think for like there's a hair that's how you can tell i used it had a hair stuck in it i got this on sale for like four or six dollars this not only did it make my skin feel tightened as soon as i used it it felt like it was like on my skin and it was just tightening it up and i loved it this would be an amazing serum because when you put it on it starts to dry down it's very tacky so i liked using it before i put my skin milks on so that it like was tacky and it would hold on to the skin milk and pull it into my skin but it would be an amazing serum because of that tackiness. And honestly, it's probably not more than $10 not on sale. And you get a good amount. It is in a plastic bottle, which I, is it? No, it's in a glass bottle. But yes, I will be repurchasing this. And this is from Revolution Skincare London. So Makeup Revolution. That's a beautiful serum. There's going to be a lot of color pop. We have the Blue Light Protection Serum Boost. Yes, I'll be repurchasing. I already have a big bottle because this was the, like, 
not mini, but the smaller version. I already have the giant version over there. It's supposed to tech, tech. It's supposed to protect from blue light exposure. Your phones, your computers, ring lights, TVs, things like that, which I'm around a lot. Don't know if it actually works, but the thought of it, and I think this is like $12 for the full size. So I think it was like seven or eight for the smaller size. Well, it must be in the farther one over there. And like I said, I'm in pain, so I'm not gonna get up until it's time for the shop my stash. Cause I want to see the difference in how much you got in the big and small bottle, but it is a plastic bottle. Like I said, I honestly, I don't know if it works. Cause how do I tell the exposure from the blue light is getting better? I don't know, but I like the thought of it. So I do like using it. And I've noticed that a lot of brands are doing blue light skincare. I'm so sorry about my voice, you guys. Here's something else that I got in a boxy charm. This is a precious serum of the Royal Black Tulip from, this is the Black Blossom Hand Serum from Serum Kind. Can you tell I squeezed out every last drop? Actually, let me see if I could get a tiny bit out. And I can, I can. Finish it out to put on my hand. Yes. I don't know if I will repurchase, but I would love to if I could find it on sale, maybe during Black Friday, because for one, it smells amazing. For two, I use this every night after rubbing in my skincare like I've always done, so that was nothing new. This was the only new part. And like right now, it's absorbing so quickly and my hands literally feel silky. No lie. Like, I love this. Nothing you can really see, but it feels so good. And I did notice after using it for two weeks straight every night, I'd wake up in the morning with my hands feeling very soft and hydrated. And I knew it was this, because once this ran out and I stopped using it, my hands were not like that in the morning anymore. So I don't remember the price, but I know this is expensive. I think like 30 some dollars for a hand serum. But if I can get it on sale, I will repurchase because it does work. Here's something else that I've repeatedly told you guys about. This is the Soft Skin Cotton Round Cotton Pads from Nifome. Is that how you say it? N-E-F-O-U-M-E. -E. These come from Shein. They're like $2 and you get... Eighty of them. These are the ones I was just using. Look how thick they are. I love them. I can't tell you how many of these I've already bought. And yes, I will repurchase because they're amazing. Like I said, a lot of ColourPop. But I use a lot of ColourPop. I really do enjoy their skincare. This is the Fourth Ray Camu Camu Glowing Serum Boost. And yes. I will say, after using this for a month, I did notice my skin glowing. A lot of you messaged me and said, how do I get that glow? Right here. Camu Camu. And I have a big one over there that I will be incorporating back into my skincare. So yes, I will repurchase again and again. That one is in plastic. The face milks are in glass. This is the 4th Ray Chamomile Oat Face Milk. And I love it. Not only does it smell amazing. Oh, it smells so good. It is very moisturizing. The chamomile and the oat are very, very moisturizing for your skin. And it does that. Like, it's very rare, no matter what I'm using, that I don't have some kind of face milk from Fourth Ray in my skincare routine every time. This is a smaller one, but I do have the big version, I'm pretty sure of either the chamomile oat or just the oat. But it's very hydrating and I do suggest this. I think the small ones are like eight bucks. And again, the big ones are 12. Then we have the Cactus Hydrating Serum Boost. Again, cactus is very hydrating for your skin. And I have noticed, like I have noticed how, the reason I say I've noticed is because I went a few nights when I wasn't feeling well without doing my skincare my skin literally felt so dry and as soon as i incorporated my face milks back in instantly 
back to being hydrated. So I can honest to godly say that these do hydrate your skin. So I will repurchase if I have not already. Here's something. This, I am almost empty of my fourth one and onto my fifth one. Do you see that? I sucked that baby dry. I got every drop and it smells delicious. It, I shouldn't say it smells delicious. It doesn't have a very strong smell at all. Just the slightest hint. But that, but that little hint smells so good. This is the Water Drop Hydrating Eye Gel. So, like I said, I like thicker eye gels. This is very thick on the eyes. And it takes, I can take my pinky and from there up, that tiny bit would be enough for my entire under eye along with my eyelid. So I do both, I under and over, and then I massage into my temples and there's enough left to do here and along my smile line. It takes the tiniest bit. One of these easily lasts me two to three months. No, not two to three, two months easily. Definitely will repurchase. I already have, I have one that's almost empty and I have one that I need to use up. And I think it's like $12. Now I think this is the last ColourPop item is another 4th Ray Beauty Chill Sesh. We already talked about that. That proves right there. That was that one. Let me show you. Two of them. They're empty. So that shows you right there. Here's something else. Smelled so good. This is the Righteous Butter Original Formula. Very dry skin formula body butter. Lost that rubbing filling? Why not try Righteous Butter? I don't see if it's vegan, cruelty, or any of that. But if you have never tried um, Soap and Glory, which is who this is by, I'm using their heel cream right now. I posted on my Instagram story smells divine it smells fruity and floral same as this one and it is so hydrating like i it's very thick but it is not greasy it absorbs quickly and it's very hydrating on the skin so i need to get another one of those definitely will repurchase but i'm waiting for black friday or christmas time for their christmas kits to come out oh i was wrong about the last color pop this is the matcha avocado face milk. Matcha, as you all know, is very good for the skin. Drinking it or using it on your skin, as well as avocado. Again, very hydrating. I don't know the exact benefits, but I do know they're very hydrating. And again, I just use this for the hydration. I do have a couple makeup items. Like how cute is this? You could take the top off when you need to empty it out. And then you put the top back on. I got that from Amazon. I love it. Somebody said I need to make an Amazon a list of all the things I've bought. So if I review something, you guys like it, you can go on there and find it. Let me know in the comments. Would you guys like that? Because I'll definitely take the time to do it. I have four eyebrow pencils. So first, we have the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Brow Definer. And we had it in the shade... 40, which is medium brown. Now, I got this from Influencer to try out. It is completely empty. There's nothing left. I loved this. I will use this bully real quick. But that's why it's empty. I love this so much. Makeup Forever Brow. Um, the Aqua Resist Brow Definer. It has the thinnest, one of the thinnest tips. I doubt you'll be able to see because there's nothing in it. Like it was so thin, you guys. Like a ballpoint pen type thin. And it was very pigmented, but not too pigmented. It was waxy, but not too waxy. It was just perfect in all the ways. Not too waxy, not too pigmented. It was not too thick and it was very thin. So you could get very precise and it lasted. This is a, if you're looking for an eyebrow pencil to try, I highly, highly suggest you trying the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Brow Definer. I think it's around like $15 or $20. Worth it and I will repurchase. 
Then we have also, oh my God, never mind. This wasn't empty. But since we're here, I'll talk about it. This is the Essence Micro Precise Waterproof Eyebrow Pencil. And it is in the shade, I don't know the shade, but I thought it was empty. It must have fell in there. Definitely not even close. But I do love this, and since there is some in it, I can swatch it. Like right now, you guys, from that hand serum, my hands are so soft. But let me show you how thin of a line it makes. So I think this was a medium brown. See, it's not too pigmented, but it's not too waxy. It says it's waterproof, but of course I didn't let it set. So we'll redraw the line and we'll let that set and see if it's waterproof. But again, this is from Essence, it's very good. Now, this one is empty. This is from ColourPop. It's the ColourPop Precise Brow Pencil. This is in black and brown. And if you can see, I don't know, let's see if there's enough to make a line. There is. I went back over it. As you can see, it's darker than that because this is black and brown. It's a very nice pencil. There's just enough on the tip to be able to do this. But as you can see, not enough for me to do an eyebrow with. What I like doing is like doing my brows like I have them here and then going over them. Can you guys see how this one has the dark hairs and this one don't? I hope you could. Now they both have them. But either way, I think these are like $8. Amazing. Now I will say it's hard to get their brow pencils because they go out of stock so fast when they come into stock. But if you can get your hands on them, highly suggest the Precision Brow Pencil. They have thicker ones, but that's the thinnest one to make the hair strokes. Then our last one is the BDB. This is the Billion Dollar Brows Brows on Point Waterproof Micro Brow Pencil in Taupe. I like using Taupe for the inner corners. As you can hear. But let's see if there's enough to make a line. And there is. As you can see, it's a little bit thicker. But you can see it's lighter because this is Taupe medium brown and black and brown. Another great brow pencil, but I think this is like 15 or $18 as well. But I do highly recommend all of these. The Billion Dollar Brow, the Precise Brow Pencil from ColourPop, the Essence Waterproof Pencil, the Makeup Forever Aqua Resist Brow Definer. Out of all of them, the Makeup Forever one would be number one I'd recommend. Then number two would be ColourPop, number three Essence, and number four Billion Dollar Brows. Just being honest. So I do get to keep the Essence because it's not. And look at the difference in the spoolie. See how thin this one is and how much thicker that one is? I like the thinner ones. And then look how thick the ColourPop is. Here's the difference in all of them. They might look very similar, but they're different. This one's the thinnest, this is medium, and this is thickest. These two look very similar, but trust me, in real life, the um, Makeup Forever is thinner. So I'm going to keep that one, even though there's nothing in it, just for the spoolie. Because, like another YouTuber I watched, my um, eyebrow pencil from Juvie's Place also broke. It's a good pencil, it just broke. So, now, two more things. We have our Murad City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. Actually, before we use that, look at that. This is supposed to be waterproof. It could be because of the skincare, but I don't know. So, back to this. Again, we have the Murad City Skin Overnight Detox Moisturizer. I did like this a lot. I'll be honest, I didn't see really much of what it did, but it did feel nice and hydrating. 
Now, let me show you something. It might look like, like, why are you throwing away there's so much? There's not. Look at this. There is a little bit. So I'm going to get whatever I can and just put it on my hand. Like, see that? It's empty. And let me tell you something. If you're using this and it seems like it's empty, open it and just scoop this part down into the middle. Like, there's probably a squirt left. Yeah. Go ahead and throw it on my face. Why not? I haven't did my skincare yet. Like I said, it feels really good. Hydrating, moisturizing, not greasy. But for the price, and I didn't see a huge difference, and there's lots of other things that could be moisturizing, non-greasy, and hydrating, I will not be repurchasing that. And then, last, we have the Glow Recipe Banana Souffle Moisture Cream Calming and Hydrating. I will repurchase when I can get it on sale. Let me get it open. My hands are slippery. It smells like bananas. There's a little bit in the bottom, but to be honest, it's not very much. So I might go ahead and scoop that out tonight and just use the end of it. But this is not cheap. I think this is like 30 some dollars for the full size because I think this is the miniature size, or not miniature, the smaller size, but this could be the full size. It comes with, I don't know how much, but it smells amazing. Very, very hydrating. And it says it's calming. And I think bananas, they're very good. I know they're very good for your bones. So I'm sure they're good for your skin. And I adored using this and honestly, I took a big scoop out and put it on each cheek. It was enough for my whole face, my neck, and my chest. And this lasted me two months. So split that thirty-some dollars up and divide it by sixty. This is definitely worth it. I do have one more thing, but I am not done with it. But I'll show it to you. This is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Night Press Serum Hyaluronic Acid. My gosh, here's how much I have left which is not a lot, unfortunately. The reason I say unfortunately, most Neutrogena things are expensive, but they're not expensive. No more than $20. Now, you see how much is in there and how much I've used? I've been working on this for three months. It, honest to God, this much for this cheek and this much for this cheek, that is enough for my entire face and into my neck. It might seem crazy, but it is. Now, this little thingy comes with 1.7 ounces and is $25. 25 macaroonies. That is a little expensive, but the fact that it takes the tiniest amount, and I've been on this for three months, and I think I'll get another month out of it. So $25 for four months worth, and that's not me skimping to where it's barely enough. That's it a lot to where there's a lot on my face and I got to rub, rub, rub it in. So yeah, keep that in mind. Four months like that for $25. Yes, ma'am, please. That is a great deal. And Neutrogena is just amazing. Almost everything I use from them has hyaluronic acid. It's very moisturizing, very calming. They have products that are good for acne that my son used like their um their cleanser that's in a blue see-through jar that kind of looks like this but it's tall and skinny worked amazing for his acne i don't even know if it was for acne their stuff is non-greasy takes the smallest amount even that cleanser one little pump is enough to lather your face so like you don't have to use an excessive amount of their stuff which is another reason I love it so much. So I'm not done with this, but we may switch it out for something else. We'll see. So that was everything in my empties video. So let me know, is there anything in there you've used 
or anything that you might try out now. And let's turn this camera around. And let's go shop my stash and get some new skincare routine for me to try out. Let's go. Okay, loves. On to the first one. Now, I have been wanting to try something from Bliss. So this is the Bliss Drench and Quench Cream to Water Hydrating Hydrator for all day moisturizers. This is a daily moisturizer. So we could use that and then still pick a nighttime. I just got my Daily Greens Oil-Free Gel Moisturizer from Pharmacy. But I just finished that out. I want to try something new. We also have the Wishful Honey Balm Jelly Moisturizer. So we might try that for nighttime. This bag for now. Because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't do much of a daytime skincare routine. It's mostly nighttime. And I also only use cleansers when I take a shower. I don't wake up and cleanse. I don't go to bed and cleanse unless I've took a shower. And my skin, well, you, you know, it looks amazing for doing that. So that's what I'm going to continue to do. Let's see this. You know what? I got this. Whoops. Oh, no. Okay, I found it, loves. The little stopper I dropped. So this is the Trilogy Vitamin C Booster. And it comes with this little dropper. So I think I'm going to use that. Okay, so we got vitamin C. What else? We got the rosehip oil. That's a primer. We got the Trilogy Vitamin C Moisturizing Lotion. Okay, we need a toner. Okay, we got this one we got in BoxyCharm. This is the Clean Skin Club Pineapple Glow Mist. Hyaluronic Acid Peptides Antioxidants. Okay, this is not a toner. We have the new e.l.f. We have the Hydrogel Moisturizer with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptides. The Holy Hydration of Skin. Hydrogel Moisturizer. I think we're going to stick with Wish for at the moment. What's this? Moisture Boost Vitamin Boost feeding, nourishing, and firming. Vitamin infused eye serum. Okay, we might try that. We're using a vitamin C booster. Okay. Here's our big face milks. Do it hy hydrating hyaluronic acid. Okay. I think we're going to bring out our Collab micellar water. Do I have two of these? I do. We'll put them together if we can. And we can do this. Okay. We do have a Fasoli Quench Moisture Nourishing Serum. Lip scrubs, we got this. We don't need to fill that yet. We have our Volition Hibiscus Unspottable Correcting Oil. We have our Dr. Brandt Eye Cream. We do need to grab our eye patches. We have our Pharmacy Eye Cream. We have our ColourPop Do It Eye Cream gel I should say. We also have our Revolution Hydrating Boost Watermelon Eye Gel. Let's go look over here. Sorry about the lighting. We have these Gentle Steam Eye Mask. I might give it a try. I also have this Morphe 2 Restart Detox Face Mask, which I need to give a try. I also have this True and Luscious Flower Dose. Sorry, True and Luscious Flower Dose Plumping Lip and Eye Serum. And then we have these from Revolution. We got the Hydrating Hyaluronic Eye Gel. 
And we have the Revolution Overnight Squalling Eye Cream. Maybe we'll bring in two eye creams. Put that down there. Now I have been wanting to start out my keys. Skin transforming cream. Okay, here's all my mini boost and milks. Is this a toner? Antioxidant spray toner. Okay, we might use that. Trust me, I know I got an extensive skin routine. See? Skincare routine. Told you I had another bottle of the BHA toner from pharmacy. Okay, we also got the keys. This is the powder luminous exfoliant. We have all of these. And sorry if it wasn't on part. We have more of these. We have the EGF serum from Revolution. And we have the Rose and Chamomile Calming and Soothing Serum. And I've been wanting to try one of these, honestly. I think we're going to go for this one because I'm pretty sure it was vitamin C and we got a vitamin C thing going. And then if we have too much, we'll pull some out. We do have this from Wonder Beauty. Do not disturb overnight repair concentrate. Hmm. We have a couple of things from the ordinary as well. We have the retinol 0.5% in squalane. And we have, you know, I think I'm gonna move this one down there and maybe move down here and move the lips up there, but I don't know. I also have the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid 2% plus B5. And I think this is oil. Oh, it's a hair serum. Ooh, that's actually really nice. There we go. Now, here we have these. We have the Quinoa Night Pill. These are all from Revolution. We got the glycolic acid spray. We have the hyaluronic acid spray. Whoops. We got the super fruit replenishing essence spray. And this is an e.l.f. all the fields facial oil. And we have toners down here. We do have the OC Sea Minerals Mist. Okay, so we pretty much got everything. I'm not gonna start on the big bottles yet. Coconut, papaya, avocado, alpha hydration, 10%. Acid serum. We might go with that. What else do we have? We have the pineapple, cactus, the vino. Oh, we have two turmeric. Okay, so we already have the vitamin C one, so that's good enough. What else do we have? Chamomile. And another papaya. So let's see what we're working with. Wait, what is this? It's an overnight mask. Sleeping mask with hyaluronic acid and peptides. I think we're going to pull that as well. So we have our cleansing water to start with. We have our vitamin C boost drops. We have, going to have to look this up, My Daily Dose Serum Cocktail from Skin Ink because that's it. It doesn't tell anything else. But I'm pretty sure this had something to do with vitamin C. We have 10% Alpha Hydrating, I'm sorry, Alpha Hydroxy Acid Serum from The Reveal. 
I like beauty too serums. Then we have our chamomile face milk, which I already told you guys how much I love. We have an antioxidant spray toner with green and white tea extracts. Protects against free radicals, leaves, skin, revitalized, improved skin barrier. It's a spray toner. We also have a Clean Skin Club Pineapple Glow Mist with hyaluronic acid, peptides, and antioxidants. And we have two eyes. We have the Mud Mask Vitamin Infused Eye Serum, Moisturizer Boost, Vitamin Boost, Feeding, Nourishing, and Firming. And we have the Revolution Overnight Squalane Eye Cream to go on after this one. And we have our eye masks along with our wishful honey balm now just really quick the way I would do this I would clean with the micellar water then I would spray on my toner then next I would put on this eye mask then I would drop on this booster this booster, this booster, and then this milk. Then I would put on this moisturizer. Then I would spray on this. Then I would put on the nighttime cream. And then only maybe two nights a week would I put on the Holy Hydration Sleeping Mask. I know that seems like a lot. I might actually put, I think I might put this back. I don't need three, let's see. I like to do a 10 step routine. So actually I'm going to keep this. So that is everything that we're going to have in our skincare routine. What did you guys think? Do you guys think I'm excessive with my skincare routine? I mean, I am a little bit, but I really enjoy taking care of my skin. Actually, I think we're going to bring in the Jeffree Star Blue Raspberry Scrub as well. Gotta have some for them lips. Because the one I've been using for Morphe is about to be gone. And I would have put it in empties, but it's not completely gone, and I can't figure out what it is. So, I like to put on this, something from Truly, then I'll put on a really thick lip balm then i'll put a thinner one on top of that every night and this is the bali bali sweet orange and coconut lip balm it has that and the one i put on before it you just squirt it out of an opening onto your finger it doesn't have an applicator part like this so we have that for our lips so that is everything what do you guys think be honest down below am i too excessive how I've always been and I think my skin enjoys it so I'm gonna keep doing things the way that I do so I'm gonna get out of here I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you enjoyed seeing my empties if you did please consider subscribing down below ring that bell up there and leave me a like if you enjoyed this video and as I always say comment down below because I love talking to you guys and I want to know what you think about all this and with that lovelies I will see you in the next one. Bye.